You guys might not believe it, but there are parts of my job that are really mind-numbing. Yeah, you see and read about me and the other Motor One editors driving a lot of cool cars. But between stints behind the wheel, there are a lot of staring at computer screens, getting on Skype calls, and getting stuffed into airline seats. <laughs> Which is why, when something really special rolls into the Motor One garage, I don't feel bad about playing hooky. Now, you'll notice we're not in Detroit, and instead of going to the office today, I've struck out to find some curvy roads. The reason being is this car, the 2017 Acura NSX. One of the reasons why the NSX is so special and so different from its predecessor is because of the advanced powertrain. You can probably hear it, but we've got, of course, a gas engine. That's a 3.5 liter turbocharged V6, and it's making 500 horsepower, which in and of itself is enough to make for a pretty quick coupe. But really, the special sauce of the NSX powertrain are the three electric motors. Now, there's one larger one that's sandwiched between the engine and the transmission, making 47 horsepower and 109 pound-feet of torque. Then there are two more, each one directing power to one of the front wheels and both located on the front axle that make 36 horsepower and 54 pound-feet of torque. You add all that up and uh, you get a weird number. <laughs> the math isn't completely correct. The total output is 573 horsepower and 476 pound-feet of torque. But the net result uh, defies math as well. We're talking about three seconds at most getting to 60 miles per hour. Now, if I back it off, and I go back down into sport or even all the way into quiet, which optimizes the electric behavior, the car obviously quiets down a little, the throttle gets a little bit more dead, and you're able to drive it more or less like a big Accord with bad visibility. That daily drivable nature is really cool, and uh, you know, it's one of the reasons that the NSX is as popular as it is. It's a hallmark of the car, and it has been since the first generation. But it's certainly not the reason that I didn't go into the office today. Let's get back in the Sport Plus. <laughs> Damn! Listen, you guys, there are a lot of internet commenters out there that have, I think, since the inception of this car, when they found out that it was a quote unquote hybrid, been really down on it and down on Acura for kind of belying the purity of the NSX nameplate. Those people can either drive the car or go hang, as far as I'm concerned. When you're comparing it to things like the R8 and the McLaren 570S, yeah, there are pluses and minuses, and those cars maybe feel a hair more aggressive some of the time, but there's no doubt that this car is amazingly fluid, fast, and enjoyable to drive on a good road like this one.